Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Hey everybody, it's Liam and Big Al and this is The Bad Cast. My name is Liam. Oh, very good. Oh, fucking yeah. yeah. Fucking oath. Well, we are here at your, uh, you know, your man place. Is yeah. that, is it's it? the Bad Cast Western Suburbs uh, Studios. Let's call it that. Yes. Lovely. I, I'm looking forward to the... Uh, it's much shitter than that, of course, but you can't tell because it's audio. Uh, that's right. And we're talking into gold-plated microphones, mm-hmm. Sadat. I wouldn't uh, touch anything less. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have a special guest. Uh, well, this guy. Um, uh, what, what kind of introduction can we give uh, this guy? He's uh, he's a comedian extraordinaire. He's been in many a friend shows. Uh, he's only been invited twice to a friend show. He just uh, gate crashed the rest and did <laughs> way better job than uh, all tickets. the others. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll insert some round of applause yeah, here for cool. Russell Hart. Up, ladies hey. and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You're all too kind, all fake of you. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Now, let me just say, um, Big Al was mm. a little bit late for the, today's podcast. Oh, so was. Russell actually turned up prior to Big Al turning up here at uh, the uh, uh, you know, Liam's studios here in the Western Suburbs. So what happened was, uh, you know, Russell came in, we had a couple of beers... I just got to find out a few bits and pieces about him. Now, yes, he is I'm a comedian. I'm nothing but punctual. Oh, lovely. <laughs> That's right. And you know why he's punctual? Because he's an engineer, big guy. Oh, there we yeah. go. Yeah. There you go. I learned watches in uni. <laughs> wow, that is pretty. So what, what kind of engineering do you specialise in? Well, my degree is in mechatronics. Right. But I work as a control systems engineer. And I'm currently doing intelligent traffics, which is so boring. Intelligent traffic systems. You're oh basically creating yeah. the robots will, that will once be our masters one day. Hopefully. Because so, so humans just like, can go fuck themselves. <laughs> 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 so it's just like you're dealing with lights, like just like the traffic kind of like that? Or no, we're talking getting... about like the uh, the cars that eventually we're about to, Liam and I were about to get pissed at, yeah. at a pub and they'll just come and pick us just up. pick us up. Fucking bail hopefully. us into the car. Drive us home. Yeah. Yeah, because driving's for dickheads. Yeah. So, <laughs> mostly dickheads. I, f- I fucking hate traffic. I hate sitting oh. in traffic. I, I live in Adelaide and I still hate traffic. Mm. So, naturally, I'd fucking work in traffic. Like, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. you know what needs to be fixed? This shit. This shit. Yeah, so, so basically what intelligent traffic systems is, is like making sure that uh, road infrastructure, this is going to be so boring, I apologise. No, that's every, okay. Hey, Big Al, we've got a serious person on the bad cast. <laughs> I, I, I know, this is, look, hey, uh, for once in my life, right. I'm going to learn something. Yeah. I'm so fucking No, no, come on, keep no, going. No, no, All right, like, so, this is interesting. So what uh, intelligent traffic systems do is that it uh, makes sure we maximise Proactivity in our road infrastructure systems. So making sure we can like uh, manage incidents and make sure we get the most out of our current infrastructure. So currently we're looking at managed motorways, incident detection, and uh, eventually moving into autonomous vehicles and shite. All right, all right. Let's oh, stop wow, right that, there. That's pretty cool. Autonomous vehicles. Big Al just mentioned oh. that. We need some kind of machine to bail us out of the pub, possibly out of prison every once in a while, oh. take us home. Yeah. How, is it, how far away are we? Bloody close. Like, the technology already exists. Okay. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, in, like, 2015, they had that autonomous vehicle thing on yeah. the uh, Sun Expressway. Did they go without like, any hitches? Or? Yeah, yeah, the one that were, they were like, oh, now watch this work. And they fucking pressed go, and they ran into an inflatable kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that kangaroo had a fucking hat. Yeah, he fucking, I looked at him. It was programmed to kill inflatable kangaroos. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was the problem. So. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, normally, that, that stuff works. Like, the technology already exists to have autonomous vehicles is just basically like infrastructure that's holding us down. And also people are scared of the robots taking yeah, over. Yeah, pretty much. Like, uh, But let's be honest, people are pieces of shit and the robots need to take over a quick stat. Really? I have to say, like, uh, having an affair with autonomous vehicles will be <laughs> tough. Like, you know, you missus can just go, uh, previous address. Yeah. Um, Tony went to Susan's yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah, what? Yeah. She's just checking your like you know your phone records basically like oh yeah you were here you were there yeah yeah like and I think that's what it would get to they got like uh yeah I'll give you un- I'll give you premium unleaded fuel if you shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah I don't start like robbing them who wants a fresh battery. <laughs> 
<laughs> is it just me or does anyone? Do you guys not like being followed by the internet? Like, and I mean, like, uh. see, my 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 uh, in laws' family, they love the whole. Um, you know, they use an app on their phone and they all know where all of where everybody is. You know, oh, where that, their phone is. That shit's oh, they love no. it. They're like, oh, okay, we'll nah. see you in fifteen because that's where you are and stuff. Nah. I, don't, I don't participate myself, but um. You guys? No, no. Like, location services. Like, I find my iPhone. Not turn that shit off. If I lose it, it's my fucking problem. Mm. Yep. I don't, I don't need anyone following me. Because I hate that. Because for the simple reason is, I'll always go along and go, yeah, right about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, fuck, I haven't left yet. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like oh, you're still at the <laughs> elephant. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> you're yeah. in a dumpster in Salisbury? <laughs> yeah. You've been there for hours. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want my wife to know. Hey, you've been in aisle three of Coles for the last 15 fucking minutes, yeah, yeah. right? You're, you're pulling Get up. your ass moving, fat boy. Like, pulling up to a thirsty camel's like, nah, you've been here at Sip and Safe before, mate. I can fucking tell. It's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. good stuff. Yeah, right, so totally. t- tell us this, right, Russell. Um, what are the attributes um, or personality traits of an engineer? Just for anybody who doesn't know an engineer. Generally, um, Yeah. <laughs> One, uh, yes. Yeah. No, generally, so people who were good at maths in school and everyone went, fucking engineering for you. Yep. And, uh, and then basically uh, personality disorders of any kind. Sure, sure. Um, wow. I went to a northern suburb school. I was like, huh, you're good at maths. You were totally getting fucking bashed at lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely got that. I grew up in the country. So right. I was almost burnt as a witch because I knew my time stable. <laughs> yeah. I knew school was going to get me out of here, so <laughs> fucking buckle down, kids. Good work. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hopefully, there are no children actually listening, but uh, we'll. Uh, yeah. get, all right. So Only the good ones. Now, <laughs> the good you're ones. a mechatronic engineer. You know yeah. about robots and stuff. Do you have a weekend project at home, maybe in a cellar somewhere, that you are creating it? Some kind of <laughs> killing robot. Or machine. Like any good engineer, I have many half projects that are okay. half thought out. Yeah, okay. right. Uh, one, of, uh, one of the guys I used to work with, my, he was my favorite backyard project. Just making an air hockey table, just nice and simple, oh, wow. but he put an oversized industrial extractor fan on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the fucking putt <laughs> lifted two inches off the actual deck. That is wicked. Yeah, because wow. that's what air hockey needs, a third dimension. Yeah, it's like 4D chess, but with yeah, air just hockey... Fucking... Hey, have you, you need thought a, you need about a um, for that though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Have you thought about maybe putting a skateboard, taking the wheels off? You'd have yourself a hoverboard. <laughs> That's legit. Only for <laughs> about a three meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Back. Fucking, okay. you're getting some sick air. Oh, it's hovering. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get from here to there. Okay. Oh, it's no. kind of the same spot. Wow, I, I love air hockey. Like, so how cool is that? Like, as an engineer, you just come along and just go, yeah, I need an air hockey table. Uh, I'll, I'll make one on the weekend. Yeah, done. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Nah, he wow. was crazy. Like he was, he was one backyard accident away from being a supervillain. Like he was <laughs> full yeah. on. I love it. I love it. Yeah, Mike. Uh, <laughs> mine are pretty simple. I've been just stuffing around with a Google Home. <laughs> like it's so boring. Like uh, you know the Google Homes. Is that oh, the, yeah, that's yeah. the creepy machine that sits there and it will talk to you and uh, answer questions yeah, yeah, yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was listening to the new Pat Oswalt or watching the new Pat Oswalt uh, special on Netflix. Plug. Name drop? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great, it's great, it's really moving. Love and the Google Home just kept thinking that Patton was talking to him. I was like, if anything, he's talking to me. Google, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's great. It's good times. Well, I like the Google Home. So how, how does it work? Because I uh, we we mentioned a couple of uh, podcasts ago, like mm. how the advertising for that Google thing is actually quite good. To the fact that I actually went to use Siri, uh, Siri and I said, "Hey, Google." Yeah, <laughs> and then she just like fucking had a massive go at me. Yeah, no, it's great. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I love it. The thing that I hate most about it is uh, that I wake up significantly earlier than my wife, so I can't actually use it in the morning. Because oh. a lot of the good things is like, hey Siri, what's what's oh no Siri, then how you got me fucked? Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> there Jesus. you go. That'll get you fucked up in Google Town. Yeah. Jesus, <laughs> man, I am I am dead in Silicon Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do that tonight, yeah. you know Google's going to wake your fucking wife yeah. up. Don't yeah. don't stick around, kids. There'll be no plugs at the end of this. Yeah, you can't yeah. find me. I'm done. Yeah. I'm underground. So. You just go, hey, Google, and then you just ask it a question. It basically, basically does a Google for you and then just answers your question. Oh, really? So, so you're like, uh, how fucked is the traffic in Adelaide? Yeah, pretty much. You can do that. Oh, yeah. um, Can't do that much then, really. It's not cooking you fucking eggs for breakfast, is it? Yeah, no, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. So, um, okay. But uh, in the US, you can get things like your thermostat adapters and all your aircon adapters. Basically, I'm just making sure I have my own 
like remote IO system. So yeah, like yeah, anyone we don't else? Need to hear about the JavaScript or anything, dude. But uh, yeah, no, we get. Yeah, but what about lights? You're creating and stuff like robots. That as well. JavaScript. Okay, JavaScript. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you set your lights, uh, so the lights come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So lights up. We've got a, a long way since fucking clapping them off, haven't we? Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. You know, I used to love that because, you know, you'd uh, you'd have sex and it felt like for once your wife appreciated you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. she was just turning the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say because of the temperature, you were making the sound oh, yeah. yourself. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine that? On, <laughs> off, on, <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, that could explain the epileptic seizures she was having. <laughs> thought she was into it. <laughs> Turns out I need to put something between her teeth. That's a I'll myth. Just... Don't put anything in between her teeth. It's a myth. That's how I got circumcised. <laughs> it was a... it was a, it was a late adult uh, term circumcision. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah, guitars, guitars. Oh man. Like I said, my wife doesn't uh, listen. She hasn't downloaded. She hasn't learned how to download yet. But if she got a Google, she'd come along and just go, "Hey Google, uh, yeah. download the latest." Uh, Badcast Bad episode. Yeah. Hey Google, what dumb shit has my husband said? <laughs> <laughs> oh. they, they, it would actually overload the system. I, I am. Uh, uh, like, uh, Google would be like, um, how long have you got? Oh, yeah. I'm forwarding it to your tablet. Too long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to need to get the calendar out and start making some times. So. Yeah. Yeah. Order your Uber. Uh, come, come around. Uh, but yeah, I suppose, you know, you're talking about the, uh, the eggs. Uh, you could probably say, hey Google, uh, order me some. Yeah, yeah. Add, order me some eggs. That is true. Add, you know what? add eggs to That's my shopping true. list and all that sort of stuff. And uh, I mean, it's got smart fridges and everything now. Yeah, and yeah. also, I don't need Uber that. Eats and that kind of stuff. Obviously, yeah, you? you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. So, well, I've even got a washing machine that it says that uh, you can actually like update it through your mobile phone. <laughs> and it's like, fuck Why? it. Why? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Just like you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need to adjust the hard water balance on yeah, my fucking I, inlet. <laughs> yeah. Don't need people knowing every time I've done a load. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, you are known to mix colours and whites, so. You reckon if there is uh. cameras, like, you know, artificial intelligence cameras around us on our ha- on, in our house, oh, and they see, they see the shameful behaviour that, uh. that happens, do you think it hurts their mind? I, I think if they saw me, they'd put a fucking lens cap on it. Automatically, because <laughs> as Just the robot brain gets yeah. smarter and smarter, it's feeling, it's seeing, and you know, learning about how you know. Oh yeah, of course. Well, it's <laughs> robots can only do what humans teach them, so essentially, shame, 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 shame. shame. Yeah, right. It's like, stop looking at me like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, have you guys ever uh. turned up somewhere like you know, you, you just you, you just jump out to go to the shops or something? Yeah, and. You see somebody who you didn't want to see uh, whilst you're looking like a Dero. Oh, oh mate, happens all the time. Oh my god! Because look, I've just pretty come much ba- today, really. Really, <laughs> yeah. I've just come back from holidays, right? And uh, I've been living the beach bum life, etc. And I'm—I must admit, I'm looking a little bit bedraggled. I had—I until that recently, I had like a paddle pop lion beard going on. <laughs> oh wow! And um, you Dude, know, it, it's it's a it's a trap. He yeah, doesn't yeah. have a liquor prize on his stick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's after the car. <laughs> Collect them all. <laughs> yeah, just a mini though. Uh, it's a trap. It's a trap, people. <laughs> yeah, but do you? But oh, happen? it happens. Like I'll come from work and I'll have sometimes a suit on. You know, suits aren't just for court, apparently, <laughs> right? <laughs> And you, you'd get out of the car, and next minute you, you know, you you put your, your t-shirt on that you had last night with spaghetti stains, <laughs> and uh, you know pants that you just go, well, you know, thank God they can't see on the see on the inside all the stains, <laughs> and then you go out to get the bins. Next minute, <laughs> and you go, oh, oh fuck off! You're wearing your polka dot fucking, uh, <laughs> you know, pajama jam pants. Uh, I I mowed, that's why I'm saying it. Well, yeah. I mowed the lawns the other day in because uh, I just use you know your your old shoes. Uh, so the only old pair of shoes that I so I don't have any old pair of sneakers at the moment. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I had was Hush old puppies. pair of uh, yeah, the, the old pair of like work shoes, right? <laughs> like so, a gentleman. Yeah, like so, a gentleman. Um, <laughs> so I had like polished a, up, a uh, yeah. big uh, brim hat. Uh, yeah. a, uh, it's not singlet. Jim's mowing; it's James mowing. <laughs> so formal. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, a singlet, shorts, and some fucking going out shoes, yeah. and then guarantees like. <laughs> The like, old fucking fuck stepping out shoes. Uh, but the amount, of, you know, the amount of times, though, when you need something from the shop, 
uh, and you look Darrow, but if you're drunk at the same time, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Explain Darrow quickly. Oh, just for Darrow, our international just, listeners. Uh, a bit of a bum, uh, a bit uh, dishevelled. A hobo. A bit hobo ish. It's yeah. short for derelict. So there, oh, you there go. we go. And yeah. there, you'll, there it is the, uh, yep. is Entomology. the answer. Or is that bugs? Anyway. Because I swear to God, the, per- the people at the animal are like, all, uh, uh, must come along and just go, fucking hell, this dude is like b- or some shit. Yeah, like, because you're in a night. <laughs> <laughs> Walks around with arseless fucking pants. Yeah, yeah. arseless <laughs> chats. You know, you know, this is when you know you've got a good wife, right? Because uh, I did the, um, I, know, I did this comedy show, and it was just, uh, just, it was called the wrong off, and it was just to do the, oh, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. wrongest material ever. So, so I fun. thought, how cool would it be if I just uh, pretend to go pick up my beer, and uh, I'd actually bend down, and I'd have, um, you know, fucking arseless uh, <laughs> fucking mm. jeans, like arseless chaps on. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> y- you know, you've got a good wife. When my wife, uh, when, I, when I go, pitch the idea to wifey, and she goes, yeah, yeah, we'll put the jeans on, stand still, and I'll, <laughs> I'll draw the... Uh... <laughs> She's a keeper. She, she is, is a, a keeper. keeper. <laughs> she is a... Uh, nothing like getting a denim wedgie, to be honest. It was... <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on them, they're arseless, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, uh, yeah, I did try to ask her to uh, actually put on the the end on each cheek, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think, you know, when you come along and you step to that level, we, she goes, nah, fuck off. Yeah, mm. not too much, too far. Yeah, yeah, it was too far, just ask too much of it. Do you often just... Uh, you know, you, you say you're looking derelict, but you, you're looking all right. Yeah, like I am from Wyala. Oh, so. Are you really? Oh, yeah. He's wearing shoes. So he's wearing shoes. Yeah. What bloody... So, you know, I like to keep in touch with my heritage, uh, so to speak. Uh, just, yeah, mate, what just, is the... What's the uh, Wyala Sunrise? Is that uh, Fanta, Goon and Vodka? Is that uh, your Wyala and Sunrise? And Broken Dreams. And bro- <laughs> <laughs> it's really he- Broken Dreams Chaser. Wow. I didn't know. I, can the next episode, can we actually have a Wyala A Wyala Sunrise. sunrise. <laughs> oh, we should. So you're a Wyala man. Hey. Tell us about Wyala. All right, so we're from Adelaide. It's the capital city of South Australia. You're from Wyala. Tell, yeah. tell Four the hours people. to Wyala. Yeah, 380 yeah. k's. Or 18 beers. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how fast slow. you're driving. <laughs> <but> yes. <laughs> So, so tell explain the town of Wyala to the so, listeners. Yeah. So, Wyala is three eighty k's across the Spencer Gulf to uh, um, from Adelaide. Uh, it's a steel making town. It was founded by BHP back in the day, called Hummock Hill. What was it called? Harmonica Hill. Hummock Hill. Oh, Hummock Hill. Okay. Like because there's like one, hummock one with hill. A, hammock with yeah, a yeah, U. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, yeah like, right. like the top bit fell off. It didn't. Yeah, yeah it doesn't. <laughs> like no one knows why. Someone stole it. Yeah, so yeah. While if I was Hummock, I'd be fucking pissed off. Oh, like yeah, that's all yeah. I'm saying. Like fucking... Mate, at least call it a mountain, mate. Jesus. Poor old uh, Hummock. Yeah, it's just a hill, mate. It's just a hill. Uh, yeah, so its heyday was in the 60s, uh, the good old 60s, where mm. we had a shipbuilding and uh, ship, ship with a P, shipbuilding and uh, steelmaking, and the town went nuts, and then it slowly died off for a long time. Yeah, yeah, but well, now it's all uh, yeah, it was gonna uh, go well again. It's yeah, a bit well, like Port Perry, wasn't it, with the smelters and things that that was kind of crowded on that kind of uh, you know hard yakka and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. poison, very blue collar, yeah, and um, <laughs> and immigrants, blue collar and immigrants. It was great. Um, so heaps of Scottish, heaps of Dutch, heaps of uh, just UK, a lot of South Africans as well. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, it's great. Um, I wasn't born in Wyala, so my family moved to Wyala when I was oh, quite young, right. so they could smell the different bloodline on me. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> They're checking you for the sex scar and you didn't have one. And yeah, they yeah, yeah. Couldn't yeah. believe it. Yeah, because you know you start making out and go, "What's your last name?" So you have to, <laughs> you have to do, you have to do an ancestry check on like when you match up on the internet sites. It's, uh, uh, it's yeah, amazing. Right. No, no, I always have a good time when I go to Wyala. So, what are the main pubs in Wyala? Where should people go for a drink? So, when they go there? oh, mate, I haven't gone out in Wyala for a long time. I've done a few I, gigs in Wyala. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've probably yeah, done it at the Westlands. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good. That's that's a that's a nice middle aged person. Type uh, drinking yep. hole. There's a lot of uh, mining guys and a lot of contractors stay there, so they're a yep. good time. They're cool. a good time. Cool. Uh, Saturday nights was always the Air Hotel. Yep. Um, on the corner. It of being the... uh, right on the gateway to the Air Peninsula. Yes. Oh, yes. so clever. Uh, oh, I see what they did there. Oh, amazing. <laughs> but you'd, and the uh, on the Friday you'd go to the Spencer oh, Hotel because there's a golf. Yeah. There was uh, a named... Yeah, right. And there was the, the manager would just constantly just go, Oh, Betty. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just don't whoopsies on your carpet. Oh. Like it's, uh, 
<laughs> We've all been there. Mm. I hear. Hey, I'm I'm out of beer. I'm going to go get a beer. We'll be back in a second. All yeah. right. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's uh, the, oh, I just knock the top of that. Big just popped his cork. Um, I was a Varicus fan, to be honest. So. <laughs> it is. It's not the first disgusting. one I've popped. <laughs> Um, so you're doing a bit of uh, stand-up. Yeah, that's um, right. So, like, you know, how long have you been doing it for? Oh, a couple of years now. Um, I'd have to check Facebook for the actual time. And he's very okay. funny. I've, I've seen uh, Russell numerous times. And mm-hmm. uh, so, Do you have, like, an actual Facebook page yeah, for, yeah. for your comedy and stuff? Uh, uh, Russell Hardup Comedy. It's uh, it's original. It's uh, I thought of it myself. That's right. Mine's so. Big Owl Comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Now it's not it's heart up, not hard up, is it? Yeah, yeah, hard up by oh, name. Oh, if you've if you've seen him, yeah. oh, he will fucking give yeah. you a heart on. Yeah, yeah. hard yeah. up, um, <laughs> hard up by nature. It's, uh, he, he moved away from me then. <laughs> they are sharing a couch. So it I can did move get it in weird between them. I'm not going to lie to you. It did happen. Uh, so some, what kind? All right, so moist sofa. All right, talk to me about this. What kind of comedy do you do? Uh, hopefully, the funny kind. Uh, <laughs> It's no. always cool. I hate this question. <laughs> Which is That's why I'm an engineer. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I, like a bit of observation. I love puns. Like I think my biggest uh, my biggest problem is I love shit jokes. Like yeah. I love shit jokes. Talking about like actual, you, sorry, right. like daddy jokes. Let me, like, me carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so dad joke, not actual like, talking about times. No, no, no. Where you've just sprayed. Just terrible. Just terrible jokes. Okay, terrible. Just terrible jokes. Like, you got me uh, excited there for a second. Yeah, like, but I, I do, uh, I do love the jokes that you've got because they, yeah. I, I, I'm also a massive fan of that kind of, yeah. you know, the pun <laughs> kind of, and I love it. And I've seen a couple of times where you see in the audience a couple of times they, they, it takes a while for them to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So sometimes it rushes. Depending on the venue, of course. To, yeah, 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 yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes. It, you have to give that a leaflet. <laughs> uh, need to believe there's that prior shit reading. <laughs> some, yeah, some, some homework and shit. Like, all right, so what we said here yeah. was... Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Russell and Big Al are going to be doing jokes and uh, there yeah. will be a start in the middle and the end. <laughs> and normally towards the end, uh, there yeah. will be a thing called a punchline yes. or insert laughter here. Mm. This is when you blink yeah. loudly <laughs> at me. All right, yeah. so you... you all right, so... You, Obviously, you've got you know you've got a good job. You're an engineer and stuff. You do the comedy stuff. This is is this a hobby or is this a job? What what's the deal? Uh, if you ask my wife, she'd say it's a job that pays the worst. Mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it pays in beer, which is you know good enough for a yeah. lot of things. That's well, how I started drinking. Yeah, <laughs> you worked for beer. Yeah, pretty much. I got yeah. I got given a meal once, which is all right. Fucking a. Yeah. What a it was half eaten, yeah. but fucking you know. Yeah, I got a dark ale. It yeah. was a couple of bites out of the schnitty, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you no, the, the, pl- the, the plate was left there. They, they've moved away from their table. <laughs> it's fair game. It's fair game. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. It's kind of yeah. like hunting in the wild, really. <laughs> you go out there and just see foraging. Out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, foraging for schnitzel. Yeah. I, I ate uh, someone's meal once. Like, yeah, I, I bet was, you did. I was, I was <laughs> did a gig at the uh, at this footy club, right? I came along and said, "Oh yeah, no, nah, I don't want a meal because it'd be like, you know, if the gig's shit, then I can just fuck off." Yeah. And they just kept pushing back the the gig until later on, and then so so that everyone's meals came out right, and they and had a couple of uh, I had one sitting there, and I was like, okay. And this guy was like, "Mate, they're, they're, I don't think anyone's sitting here. Just fucking eat it, mate." <laughs> Just, just eat it. So, look, they're, they're going to just get rid of the steak, mate. Just, just fucking eat the steak. Just, just eat it. Just do it, mate. And I went, ah, oh, okay, yeah, I'll just eat it, right? Mung dong. And so uh, they go, look, we're welcome back. We're coming back. And then next minute, this lady comes back. Oh, <laughs> uh, she goes, ah, oh, where's, uh, where's my meal? Didn't right? get a meal. And uh, she sees me, like, you know, tuck it into the end of it. Were you sitting in the same chair or had you taken her feed and take, taken oh, it just, to your own area? Yeah, I just kind of, like, just took it from the left and put it in front of me. Yeah. And she goes, uh, I didn't think you ordered. <laughs> and I went, oh, well, um, <laughs> <laughs> that guy said it was okay. Didn't, and he's gone, oh, I, didn't, I didn't say that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait, no, no, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. And I felt so bad. So the reason she wasn't around, she was the one actually going around doing the raffle tickets, raising money for charity. Oh. <laughs> so, so she goes, uh, someone else came up to me and she goes, oh, well, I'm going to have to check to see if the chef has any, the chef comes out and goes, no, no, we've, uh, oh, kitchen's we're closed. Totally, yeah. He's a we, good we chef. We don't, He's we totally have, done as many meals. Yeah, as we, we don't stuff. have any spares whatsoever. And I oh, say, no. this lady started crying and going, 
on this out because I was going around collecting money for fucking charity. Oh, no, no, she's she lost me now. Fuck cried. it. She <laughs> cried. She's she lost cried. me now. She was it. just crying. I'm just a uh, part of it just went, yeah, it was fucking delicious, you whinging. <laughs> like, it was, and then I had to get up and do the gig and, 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 and then at the end, it was like, and the gig wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> at the end, it wasn't even that shit comedian. It was, oh, that's the guy who ate Susan's fucking steak. Uh, yeah. and I was like, obviously, oh, look at him. Dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those cunts. Oh, no, it was just like, oh, uh, You know God. what? Like, I used to be a fucking corporate DJ and MC, and I do a lot of events. And now look at him. And, I, and now look at me. <laughs> but I do a lot of events, right? And then I'd, um, you know, and often they'd be weddings, right? No. Oh. My God, sometimes mm. they wouldn't, they, they want you there for six hours and they would be snarky as mm. fuck if they had to feed you. It's yeah. not like you really? can just run away to the milk bar or the deli to get a yeah, fucking yeah. pie. Yeah. You're in fucking up the top of some hill or in some yeah. fucking place. Yeah, right? guys, do you have a do you have a microwave? I need to heat up my fucking oh, chicken rissole. No shit, just under <laughs> the DJ booth, you just fucking hot, you get a little kitchen going. Yeah, you know, just, he's lean, Mc, uh, you know, uh, let's say, you know, Mc, uh, McCain's easy lean meals. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just, in between uh, your Barnsy and in excess CDs. Yeah. And fucking, <laughs> this one's for the lovers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, just the snarky motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, right. When people run events, they are. St- Dingy Just gonna leave you hanging Motherfuckers there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah But it's a bit weird It's the same as like If you're doing comedy At like you know uh, You know Charity events and stuff like that You always get stuck at the table You never know anyone yeah. and, mm. and then you know And it's amazing Sometimes if you do a really good job Then everyone wants to Fucking talk with yeah, you afterwards yeah, yeah, yeah. But before then They just go like, Who the fuck's this guy Yeah exactly mm. What's Ooh, he doing yeah. here Yeah I did a I did a gig once And there was a guy eating Like a schnitzel Balanced on his lap <laughs> So every t- <laughs> for every laugh plate? break, I grab a chip. I was so hungry, <laughs> <laughs> so hungry. I took the gig because I needed it. Like, oh I yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's what? It's how much? Okay, that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you charge him? No, 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 no. Oh right. <laughs> no, it's a freebie. They gave me a meal and beer. So oh, hey, that's all right. I, I think I've mentioned it a few times. I did this footy club. I think it's exactly the same footy club. Who uh, it was like years later, and I yeah. think they obviously new management. It was. It wasn't much, but they said, "Look, you can just. Uh, we'll just load you up with beer and stuff." And then at the end, this old guy goes, "Load you up with beer? It's like yeah. they've never heard of you." I know. And then they went, uh, "We should have just paid you more." <laughs> and it was just so <laughs> fucking grumpy. It was just fucking <laughs> good times. And then I had a gig afterwards, and you know when you just go, "Oh, that didn't do well," or yeah. in your mind you go, "Oh, I nailed it," and then all they had was, "Ah, <laughs> so <laughs> fuck." This is why I don't drink. I don't. I don't drink when I'm doing comedy because oh, I really? am so really? shit. I am so shit. That's with very her. much an engineer move, I think. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? Not I to drink. Keep a level head. Yeah. Make yeah. sure everything goes to plan. Make sure the cogs are turning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, like even drinking mid strength if I have to drink, like keep the image. You know. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking mid strength, dude. Yeah. Jesus. Actually, Christ. no. Right. Oh, no. Cooper's mid strength. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's okay. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. I think I've mentioned it before. I actually don't mind a forex. <laughs> Drink fucking water. <laughs> all right, you've lost me there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But they ha- they are coming out with it a few, like you know the one that's got the mall and the the Great Southern. Yeah, it's yeah, a, There's a mini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, great Northern a, beer. Oh, yeah. Great Northern. Yeah, yeah. The uh, other one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I've yeah, tasted yeah. that as well, man. That is some watery stuff. It's only been around for a few yeah, years. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's super popular, I think, in the Northern Territory and uh, you know. Oh yeah, totally. Queensland. Yeah, yeah. They're loving it. They're loving it. They so I think it's a bit of a. Uh, well, I suppose Forex Gold had the uh, monopoly on that uh, place. You think with a name like Forex, you'd think you'd be fucked more. Yeah, um, yeah. I just I like to drink beer that kind of matches my shirts. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I didn't know they made marquee. Yeah. <laughs> marquee. On that note, um, Russell, it's been good having you in, mate. Uh, uh, sorry about have that. you got any uh, comedy gigs? And you can tell us some engineering gigs you've got going on as well. Oh, if you like. yeah. Solo Fringe. My first Solo Fringe coming out in 2018. Oh, was that one called? Cool? Yeah, it's called A Light and a Whistle. So, uh, oh, there we go. 2018 the... Adelaide Fringe, Adelaide, Australia. Yeah. Check that shit Sounds out. like you've. Uh, is it uh, just a fringe show about uh, flying? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> uh, it's, it's basically it's a uh, talk about how my relationship with my wife started. Like, uh, because we had to work away a lot for our jobs oh, right. and stuff she like had that. A yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> just in case you need to attract attention, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Way to big out to bring the romance in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing a life jacket. It was weird. Yeah, yeah. The big up line. Hey, don't blow the whistle. 
Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's orange. It's weird. <laughs> and so can they uh, find you on the socials anywhere, mate? Yeah, yeah. You can find me at uh, Rusty Hardup on Twitter and <laughs> Russell Hardup Comedian at, uh, on Facebook. Very good, very good. Biggie, any gigs? Uh, what are you shilling this week? Well, you can also find me at Russell Hardup on Strava if you want to follow me. Strava? Like, literally follow me. What the fuck me. is Strava? So it's, uh, it's the social media thing for people who like athletes and shit. I yeah, I'm on that bit. too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I knew what you meant. I was just, just testing you, man. No big yeah. deal. Wow, Strava. Strava. Strava, get yeah. on that shit. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm uh, hosting a, um, a Melbourne Cup. Oh, like Oof, at really? The, at the Tivoli Hotel. The Melbourne nice. Cup is a race that so stops well. the nation. A big horse racing, rich horse racing event. Lots exactly. of drinking and partying and fancy hats going on there. Ah, oh, totally, yeah. Well, uh, uh, this has been a bad cast, everybody. It has and been. Uh, it's been fucking fun once again. Support all this Aussie content that's coming out, Ozcast.com. There's heaps of Aussie shows on there, all different genres mm. worth checking out. See everybody. <laughs>Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.